Prior to 2001, the Greece national team had not even won one single tournament game or did neither even scored a single goal. When Otto Rehagel came into the helm, Greece had other ideas. Obviously, Greece did just miss out on the 2002 World Cup with a disappointing finish behind Finland of all teams and, not surprisingly, behind England and Germany. Greece, in the Euro 2004 qualifying, in, they, were dr- they, they had been drawn in Group 6 alongside with Andrei Shevchenko's Ukraine and former European champions, Spain. And somehow, Greece managed to finish above Spain in qualifying. And that somehow a little miracle for the very small nation. When the draw for Euro 2004 was made, Greece were drawn in Group A with the hosts, Portugal, Spain again, and the champions from the first Euros, from the first ever European Championships, Russia. All the pundits across all the globe would thought that Portugal and Spain would go through. But no, Greece had other ideas. Coming into the tournament, Greece, alongside with Minos Latvia, were the least favourites to win the tournament. With Greece, with Greece, according to the bookies, had only had a 500 to 1 chance to go all the way to win the European Championships. In the opening game to kick off Euro 2004, Georgios Karagounis scored inside the 7th minute at the Estadio de Dragao. And people thinking, oh, here we go, have Greece? Greece surely can't hold on again. And inside the 50th minute, Cristiano Ronaldo gave away a penalty for only to, 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 to rely on Angelis Bassinis to score in the 51st minute to put Greece two ahead. And Ronaldo got a consolation for Portugal late on in the game. And Greece already somehow managed to get a win over Portugal. At staying in Porto, just down the road, at Boethesis Ground, the Estadio Bessa SXI, Greece even somehow to manage to get, managed to get a 1-1 draw from Spain. Inside the 28th minute, Fernando Morientes gave Spain the lead. And inside the 60th, 66th minute, Greece's hero of the tournament, Halis Dias, Angelos Kralis Dias, e- in, in the 66th minute, equalised it up for Greece. And Greece already had four points from Spain and Portugal, which was which was a shock beyond me. Despite a 2-1 defeat to Russia, who were already out of the competition at the Estadio Algarve, people thought Greece were out. But no, in fact, Portugal won the Iberian derby versus Spain at the Estadio Jose Alvalde in Lisbon, 1-0, to knock Spain out and send Greece through to the quarterfinals on goals scored. With, in fact, Spain had only scored two goals in the whole tournament, while Greece, in the entire group stage, had scored four. So, because one against... So, two against Portugal, one against Spain, and then, obviously, one against Russia. Because of their four goals, Greece... Greece, in fact, knocked Spain out of the Euros. And that was so harsh on Spain, considering Spain's controversial 2002 World Cup exit two years earlier against South Korea. However, though, Greece had to face one of the runners-up, no, the winners of Group B, which would, would have been one of France or England. And it, and it, it was France who won the group, And Greece had to face the holders, France, in Lisbon, in the Estadio Jose Alvalde. Greece's fantastic defence kept the likes of Zidane, Henri, Trezeguet and Robert Pires all quiet. And in the second half of that game, who else but Angelos Kalastias inside the back post to give Greece the lead. And Fra- the holders had chances, including Thierry Henry. He- and France just could not put the ball into the back of the net. Into the back of the net. And the holders were out. So France, so Greece had beaten Portugal, drew with Spain and knocked the champions out. So before the Euros, France, just two years earlier, 
got knocked out in the group stages of the 2002 World Cup as the reigning champions. So France's dominance of being world champions and European champions was over. And Greece, the... Their task got even harder by facing the competition's in-form team, the Czech Republic, who had Ballon d'Or winner Pavel Nedved, Jan Koller, Petr Cech in goal, and the competition's top goalscorer, Milan Baros, with five goals in four games in the tournament. Czech Republic, they were the, de- they were the better team on, the de- on that day. Um, however, though... Czech Republic, in fact, even with Baros, could not score. And he said, and Greece managed to held on to extra time. And he said, the first period of extra time, the golden goal rule was scrapped. And Melas, the, defen- the, de- the defender, scored a silver goal. And if you're thinking, what does that mean? Well, the silver goal, which means after the first period of extra time, the game was over. The game was over. So after that, after that goal went in, after the first period of extra time, the game was over and Greece were in the final of the Euros, which was absolutely mad to think. Considering the odds that they had at the start of the tournament were 500 to 1 to win it. Even Minos Latvia had the least chance and he even somehow got a 0-0 draw against Germany in that same tournament. Where, in fact, Greece had to play Portugal again. So that would have been the first time in Euro history, or in football history, or in international football history, should I say, that two teams who had kicked off the tournament played each other at the, e- at the very end of the tournament. Which, in fact, Portugal played Greece in the opening game of the tournament, and they had to play each other again in the final of Euro 2004. And of course, Portugal in their golden generation with Luis Figo, Deco, Manish, Nuno Gomes, Rui Costa, and a young Cristiano Ronaldo at the helm. Portugal also had chances to win the tournament, to win the game. And inside the second half, who else again but Angelos Calastayas to give Greece the lead and Portugal. Portugal had so many chances, they just could not convert them. And when the referee blew the whistle, it was over. And Greece had done the miracle, and they were the champions of Europe. Considering at the start of the tournament, Portugal, Portugal, France, England, and the Netherlands were all the big four favourites to win the, the entire thing. Considering the squads that they had, including England, were a joke. Were a joke. But Greece, in fact, Greece didn't even need to play England or the Netherlands. They somehow beat Portugal and France. And seriously, at these at the celebrations in Athens after the game were nothing but pure incredible. And when when Georgios Karagounis lifted the trophy, Greece were finally the champions of Europe. So, I hope you guys did enjoy that little st- underdog story of when, how did Greece win Euro 2004. Please smash, smash the like, subscribe, get notifications on. And yeah, thank you all for watching this video here. And love, peace and techers.